there is always movement, but here is why. And here's why you shouldn't judge movement in regards to your manifestation according to the present moment. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Nea and on this channel we talk about manifestation, law of assumption, witchcraft, quantum physics and so much more. And on Patreon we make extra videos about it. For example, I made a video last week about uh, entering the blank state without meditation. The link is down below if you want extra videos for me as well as my courses but now let's get started with today's video why there is always movement even if you don't see it and why you shouldn't judge the movement in regards to your manifestation uh, according to the present moment here is the thing this video is going to be very straightforward very simple as we love to talk over here about manifestation that is fast but also effortless so, so um, you cannot judge your manifestation according to the present moment because whatever you see in the mirror reality, hence in the present moment, is already manifested. So what you are actually seeing right now is probably in some kind of way past thoughts or more than past thoughts because you can revise and change it. And now we're going to get a little bit, uh, a little bit more complicated, but it's actually simple what you're seeing is the intention that you have put in the past manifested in the present moment what many people fail to understand in my opinion about manifestation is that they think they can control every single thing about their reality they can and they cannot and i will explain you why in a minute but especially they think they can change the present moment even when you are even when you're manifesting, let's say a cup of coffee or a sign and you see it in what you perceive it to be the present moment is actually still a time frame in the future. Whatever is present is solid and is being already manifested because of past intentions. Now, thoughts like fleeting thoughts and intentions are two completely different things. They're not necessarily the same. That's why not every single of your thoughts gets manifested because otherwise that will be mayhem. But whatever you have put your energy on, whatever you put your focus on, therefore your intention, sooner or later, you're going to see it in actualization. And sooner or later means, let's say that you have placed a lot of focus on a particular thought. So a lot of observation that will collapse that wavelength of possibility so instead of seeing the future as only one line that is straight like that is straight like past present and future straight what actually is happening so especially on a quantum level what you guys have to understand let's see let's Let's think about this. So if you could portray how reality works on a two dimensional level, it will be like one lifetime on top of another, off top of another, on top of another, on top of another, all possible lifetimes that you are experiencing collapsed in a present moment. So, Essentially what happens when you place a choice, when you place an intention that will move you in one of this lifetime that has a, one of these variants of reality that has a life of its own. That's why you don't necessarily have to repeat thousands of affirmation. If you know how to place strategically an intention and you know and you just say, I have this that will automatically put you in the lifeline that works naturally in that direction. So sometimes the repetition of thoughts and the repetition of intention is to just make sure that you're persisting in that state of consciousness and making sure that you're persisting in that lifetime lifeline that has is going to unfold even without you repeating the thought. You repeating the thought is what makes you stay in that uh, life track right Rather than jump like quantum jump in other life track that have other lifetimes on their own so essentially there is always movement because you as a consciousness you are moving through these doors you're moving through this life tra life tracks so whatever you see collapsed in the 3d reality is already being collapsed because of your past observations not necessarily negative or positive thoughts your past observations about reality now past observations could be imagination 
thoughts that you have really paid attention to and you focused in, uh, consistently on, self-concept that you have focused on, and memories. Because also memories are part of an observation. You keep reproducing certain memories in your mind, hence you keep observing that particular reality. And because you keep observing that particular reality, you move towards that variant. You move towards that life track that will tell you, yeah, that observation is indeed correct. So for instance, Many people that are not consciously manifesting, let's say that they have a traumatic event that they keep remembering about all good men go away or I always get cheated, I always get rejected, they keep looping that memory over and over again so they become an observer of that memory and they place themselves in certain life track that will correspond to that memory because that's what they are observing. So the mirror reality will just show you as a reflection reflection your observations and this is pretty much quantum physics one-on-one -on -one. if you want to know more about the science behind the assumption behind manifestation you can watch the replay to my webinar I constantly say in this video if you under in these videos if you understand quantum physics you understand most likely how reality works and why manifestation is so consistent for so many people so why there is always movement there is always movement because you are constantly moving through your observation in this doors of variations in the space of the quantum field in the space of variation you're constantly moving and you're constantly moving yet again in your mind through your observations because even the first hermetic principle mentions everything is mind which is the principle of mentalism everything your thoughts if persisted upon therefore your assumptions if persisted upon upon will collapse that quantum wave will collapse reality because what are assumptions assumptions are just judgments that you make upon reality due to your observations and there are assumptions that create belief system in you because they are repetitive assumptions there are thoughts that you keep observing and repeating it's not just a repetition but you literally keep observing that that reality and I want to explain it better um, when you pay too much attention to the 3d what you are essentially doing you are observing certain circumstances and so the mirror reality shows you your observation so for instance when you say I want to see a sign your mind would automatically gather certain information that will make you move through the field of variation that will show you a feather because also I explained in the webinar more scientifically how our our brain works we have a part of our brain that is called we have a part of our brain that is called uh, RAS sorry my English that will essentially basically filters information for our brain because if we would gather all the information that we could see in 3d reality our brain will literally go into a meltdown so it collapses the filters sorry only certain information and that's why you move through the field of variation and you just see the white feather that you have asked for because you're moving towards that direction manifestation is the same thing so what happens when you're asking for a sign you are putting the intention of seeing the white feather you have zero importance to see this white feather or not therefore zero resistance so you are going to move through certain fields of reality that will make you not collapse the the feather into reality but will make you meet the feather in the field of variation in that aspect of reality where the feather meets you I hope it makes sense there is a reality where you don't see the feather but there is a reality where you see the feather so when you put the intention you're moving through the quantum field in that reality where you are going to see the feather and you're you're not going to see it in the present moment but you're going to see it in frames that are in the future in that possible future where there is a version of you that is seeing the feather that is why there is always movement because you're constantly moving through these frames and what, what you're doing when you are just observing the 3D and you're wavering and you're going back and forth, you are essentially going in one way that it already has its own script. You're getting your manifestation. You are there. You don't have to do anything. If you persist in that assumption, the field of variation will just show you one frame after the other that you're going into the right direction. But when you waver, 
consistently waver, not just waver once in a while. You consistently waver about your manifestation. You don't see movements because you're moving to the towards the right direction, then you waver and another split is created. And the split where you don't get what you want is created and you go there. Then no, I have it. And then again, you shift over here and then you shift over here and then you shift over here. It's not that there isn't movement, is you. They are not moving and jumping in the right life track. You understand? But but if you are persisting in your assumption no matter what the three days is showing you and you keep observing your uh, your slide you keep observing your affirmation you keep observing your assumption you keep observing your imaginative acts and you live as the version of you that has what you want you are consistently moving through that variant to, through that life track that has what you want and it will just unfold. And through a series of events that you can't, you, you can't know, a bridge of events will be created for you to make you meet halfway your manifestation. I hope it makes some sense and this language is not too complicated, but it's like, it's essentially like tra time traveling. You're traveling towards the life track that has its own script where you're getting what you want and you just have to be present to walk over it. You don't have necessarily have to take any steps towards it. You will meet the feather, your manifestation, halfway. You are moving through your assumption in these frames and then this this event that is your manifestation will be created for you. But if you waver, you're splitting yourself in creating other life track. And so what I think is the best way to, to make you understand this is not even by moving in a straight line, but it's basically, your, let's say that your manifestation of abundance or healthy love life of your ideal version of your specific person is up here where your higher self is. So you have to go up there instead of remaining in lower life tracks that don't give you what you want. Because if you are in lack mentality, if you are observing the 3D, which is the present circumstances that you don't want, you are remaining in that lower life track. And you don't want this. You want a quantum jump in the life track where you meet your ideal specific person. When you meet the opportunities and the amount of money that you want that already exist as a tangible reality. So I cannot stress stressed this enough there is always movement but the movement is created by you is created by your state of consciousness so how do you know if there is movement you don't have to observe the 3d you have to ask yourself what am I thinking what am I paying attention to and by knowing what are you thinking and what you're paying attention to you know if there is movement or not so for instance if you want to manifest something and you are asking yourself what what am I paying attention to what am I thinking and your thoughts are aligned to the version of you that has what you want there is certain movement and the only thing that you have to do is persist in this assumption, lowering though and dropping the importance towards your manifestation. So it's not about I focused even more on what I want because that creates even more desire. I stay calm. I stay chilled. I know I don't have to put any effort. I know that I am on the right life track because I feel good about this manifestation and I know I have it. And therefore, if I know that I have it, I don't worry about it. I don't stress and I don't even desire it. There is zero importance. There is zero, more than importance, I will say, because dropping the level of importance to zero, I think is quite unrealistic, but there is zero need to have it because you're sitting in the assumption of the person that has it already. It's like the example of the Sony camera that I always give you. I wanted this camera. I am now the person that has this camera. And every time that I think of this camera, I'm happy and grateful that I have this camera, but I don't need this camera. In the sense, I don't desire it anymore because I have it. If you can sit in the assumption long enough, you will transcend in those higher life tracks that will automatically get you what you want. And that is why there is always movement. There is always movement, not because you're observing the 3D, but because you're paying 
paying attention to your thoughts and your state of consciousness because it is your state of consciousness that is the cause of reality it's not reality that is the cause of the state of consciousness as long as the mirror will dictate how you feel and what you think you will remain in the same life track you won't move and so you can't complain that there is any movement because there cannot be so many people let's say that you want to manifest someone that you have never met but you want a new love interest or a new career or you want to discover your life purpose and with your state of consciousness you're thinking the same thoughts you're going to the same places you're remaining in that life track that is the only reality that can collapse and you can't complain really about it because it's you it's you with your thoughts it's you with your state of consciousness that decides to remain in that lower life tracks then maybe it has nothing left to offer you and so you have to go go to the blank state open yourself make an intention of the reality that you want to experience it observe it in your mind long enough so it can collapse and from that present moment that will be your future so whatever you see in the future is the assumptions and intentions that you have made in theoretically the past or the present moment so you don't like your circumstances in the present or you don't see movement the only thing that I want you to do is ask yourself what am I thinking what am I observing because it's your observations and your memories as well as the concept of yourself that manifest the present circumstances so move into the life track that has what you want how through your state of consciousness there is nothing else even like even if you don't see movement because you are going to see movement in the future i hope i like i'm trying to be as simple and as clear as possible like guys i saw this so many times like today i had one of my ex students of the psychic school that i met her when she was quite desperate about finding love and wanting to be, get married and becoming a wife and she just had a failure after another and she was very very discouraged and she was constantly coming to me and saying i don't see any movement like I just don't see it and she was like I don't know I kind of started to waver for her at some point but then I told her listen you gotta live in the mind of the person that is married stop focusing on things or people outside of yourself or the version of them that you see in the present moment because those version belongs to lower life tracks that you live right now and you don't want that anymore but just focus and work on the affirmations and the state of consciousness of I am I am a married woman I am wifey and think like the person that is married I am married I am married and she texted me today after a few months and she was like I just wanted to know that after the course finished I got married and I manifested my husband and I am so happy you understand maybe she wasn't seeing movement while we were doing the course and I was teaching her all of this stuff but eventually because she persisted in the assumption that she was a married woman it just had to collapse because it's not the reality and the mirror changed for her she changed she transcended to those higher life tracks where she could meet her husband and then she followed that life track she was the one moving in consciousness not reality changing reality just reacted according to her movement so think about this why there is always movement because I am moving through my state of consciousness if you understand this concept guys that's why I'm trying to be a little bit longer over here if you understand this concept you wouldn't anymore ask for anyone to validate you because you will know if there is movement or not because you're paying attention to what you're observing and you're paying attention to what you're thinking if your thoughts and observation are aligned to your manifestation you will just you it will be a hundred percent sure that you are gonna get what you want you understand now i hope it makes sense so don't get discouraged if you don't see movement if your thoughts are in check if your assumptions are in check if your state of consciousness is in check is in check you are heading towards the right direction and in the future you're gonna see or the perceived future you're gonna see that movement because you again i want to say it again you are moving through your state of consciousness you're not moving through reality you're moving through states of consciousness and states of consciousness collapses the quantum field states of consciousness it's what makes you enter the field of variation and makes you collapse the variant where you have what you want now
You understand? And the more you understand this, the more manifestation becomes effortless and fast. You can literally jump in an instant if you want to, but you gotta be ready because that's another thing. You can, let's say, manifest an ideal partner. Literally, you can manifest it so fast in matters of three days or in a week. You jump into that life track where that soulmate, that, that the ideal partner is there. You found them, 100%. But if you are not able to persist in the state of consciousness that you are wifey or you, you deserve to be with your ideal partner, the quantum jump, you will quantum jump back. So how it looks in the 3D reality, let's say you meet your ideal partner, you have this amazing connection, but your insecurities or your old memories and observation make you, makes you revert back to the old state of consciousness where you're not loved, you're always cheated, you're always abandoned, that person, will shift and become the version that you are sustaining in your mind. So from ideal partner will go through the lower version of, of themselves and will start to cheat on you, will start lying to you, will start to be inconsistent because you, through your observation, instead of going up and up and up and remain there, remain in the ideal version of you and him or her, you're collapsing the worst version of them and the worst version of you. You understand why this, how it is? So you are moving through the field of variation through your states of consciousness. So it's very important if you want to manifest fast and effortlessly that, okay, jump in a couple of days, jump in a week, but keep sustaining the state of consciousness of your higher self, of the highest version of you and the highest version of people as well. So it will remain persistent. And once it will become a belief in you, it will harden in the fact and you be, it, and the reason why quantum physically speaking, it will harden in the fact is because you won't question it anymore. It will become a solid belief. And because it will become a solid belief, you will just remain in that life track. You won't lower yourself down again. I hope this makes some sense. If you want to know more about quantum physics and all this stuff, please watch my webinar and the replay. The link is down below. I also have an e-course to manifest your specific person with a meditation to the blank slate included in it. And I really, really hope you guys understood the con these concepts. Let me know if I was a little bit too complicated in this video. I can make other videos about this and narrow it down in an easier way if you need to, okay? And I see you very soon on this channel as well. Well, I love you guys. Bye.